Good day, everyone. Welcome to another Practice Problems episode. In this episode, we're going to answer problems about arithmetic sequences. So this is part one. So let's go with our problems. In these problems, we're going to determine whether each sequence is an arithmetic or not. To give you a definition, uh, we can define arithmetic sequence as a kind of sequence where, where the next term can be obtained by adding a certain constant to the term precedes it. So we call that common, common difference. So each sequence should have a common difference for us to enable to character, characterize it as arithmetic sequence. So let's try to answer this problem. Let's focus first with number one, number one. So all you have to do is to check if you subtract the first term to the next term, from the next term. So we have 10 minus 7, the answer is 3. 13 minus 10 is 3. And 16 minus 13 is 3. So if you get the same numbers below it, then therefore it is an arithmetic sequence. This is an arithmetic sequence. And number two, 6 minus 20 is negative 14. 3 minus 6 is somehow 3. Negative 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So, and uh, 1 half, one and 1 half minus 3 is negative 1 and 1 half. In this case, this sequence doesn't have a common difference. So, therefore, it is not an arithmetic sequence. Number 3. Let's check it again. 11 minus 9 is 2. 13 minus 11 is 2. 15 minus 13 is 2. So, I'm sorry. So, we have a common difference of 2. So therefore, it is an arithmetic sequence. This one. 35 minus 32 is 3. 38 minus 35 is 3. So, they are common. So, the common difference is 3. So, we have an so we can consider number four as arithmetic sequence. On number five, let's try to do this. 12 minus four is eight, and 36 minus 12 is 24. So uh, these two are not the same, so they don't have common difference. So therefore, it is not an arithmetic sequence. Now, this we can uh the confusing because of the fraction but let's try to subtract it 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3 since the denominator is is the same all we need to do is to subtract the to subtract the numerator so 2 minus 1 is 1 so that is 1 third 1 is also equal to 3 over 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 so that's also equal so 3 over 3 divided by 2 over 3 that is 1 third so they're the same they have common difference, so we can call them as arithmetic sequence. 7 is a is a negative sequence. Uh, there are negative numbers here. So don't be confused by that. So 4 minus negative 6, so that is 4, negative 4, minus negative 6. So double sign, so that becomes positive. So we have positive at our answer. So this is positive 2. Negative 2 minus negative 4, that is positive 2 as well. 0 minus 2 is 0 minus negative 2 is 2. So that these are common difference. They have common difference. So this is an arithmetic sequence. For number 8, uh, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So this time, uh, they are not this the same. So they don't have common difference. So the answer here is not arithmetic. For number 9, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Negative 6 minus negative 2 is negative 4 as well. Negative 10 minus negative 6 is negative 4. So they are they have common difference, so this is an arithmetic sequence. Last number, number ten, let's try to let's see if they have common difference. Five minus three is two. Eight minus five is three. Twelve 
12 minus 8 is 4. 17 minus 12 is 5. So it doesn't have a common difference. So this, therefore, it is an, a not an arithmetic sequence. So that's how to answer this kind of question. We could determine arithmetic sequence if they have common difference. So thank you for now and hope you learn how to answer this kind of problems in, in arithmetic sequence. So goodbye and see you next episode.